Turn that down, I want to get copyright. We live. Turn that down, son. So let us raise our Oh, yeah, what's up? Happy Saturday. Ain't nobody here yet. Night, Bob. Nothing. Xavier Woods. Get your horns out. Xavier Woods. What's the date? 19. Oh, are you still watching? Hell no, I ain't watching. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I don't know. Again. Again. Yeah, it means you need to pick up the remote and do something to it. It's timing out. So keep shooting. This was okay. Oh, yeah. Live in this trombone. And trombone. Trombone. Happy Saturday, everybody. Hope everybody having a wonderful Saturday. Y'all give us just a second. I'm going to start in a minute. I'm trying to cut this TV down so I don't get a copyright strike. It's me and Cheese trying to stop his channel. So pretty much he's going to be talking and me, I'm helping him with this channel. This is called Be Cheese's Corner. I promise you guys it was coming, and today is the day that we are doing his first video. Now, this man has been through some shit, y'all. It's called he had a, um, a benign, uh, benign cyst on his arm, and uh, they had to cut it off at VA. I was there to help him, and he's doing okay. He was on Monday, he's doing all right. So, here's Cheesy. And I am going to play the bass drum. get the hell off of me. What you want, Katie May? New Day sucks. They rock. It's family time. Yeah, we just doing family time. We just eating. Y'all should see that live video I did tonight. It was slamming. Hold on, y'all. I'll be right back. I got to get my lights. And my hey, charger. Remember, everybody. Hey, you going to get your... Yeah, I'm going to whoop my head. Oh, you damn dog, you. Get out of here. You mutt. Come on, dog. Hey, why you doing that? The Dully Boy. The Dully Boy. No, that's way back in the candy kit. Remember them, dog? <laughs> dog, you remember them? Get it, you remember them? You know, face cam. Don't get out there, man. Get out of there. You gotta get her. Run the video. She's gonna go in there great. Hey, I wish that dog would. I tell her, tell her. Look. That dog ain't stupid. Get your dad. Oh! Yeah. Move! Move! Get your hair up! Oh, wow. What they did? Oh, we got y'all here. It's hot here. I swear to God, it's 102 degrees here in North Carolina, South Carolina area. So I hear y'all. Y'all say anything? I'll come and get up. Please go ahead and give me a like, please. Ain't hurt. It's free. Even though I'm doing, you know. I was going to do the live stuff. I hadn't turned it off. It was just too hot for that. That's the night. But we just chilling, and I still hear WWF. I get a song strike. I'm tired of watching basketball. We watch something. I mean, like a movie. 
Like the news. I want to watch the news. What's on the news right now? What's going on in the world? Yeah. You gotta get to the news, boy. But in PSBN, Slim TG, it won't discover it. New Sing by 50 launching New Sing. Good. Right. Yeah, it's right. Channel 9 right there. Go down to Channel 9, good boy. What's that? Go back out of there, good old Channel 9. I don't want to see that. Here we go. Oh, you do it? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you do that. I didn't see it, though. Stations near me. Wow. Yeah, Doug Mullion as OC clips. <laughs> Loading video, please wait. There's more to wait management. Please wait. People may see this social media broadcasts and increase this morning. Okay, and again. But the body reacts to Might as well smell that bump box here. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Please wait. Please I got one person watching me. Thank you, dear. Can I get a thumbs up? Just eating a little bit of dinner. You got on Spanish. I know you could be anywhere but you're here, but thank you for being here. You know what I'm thank you, one person that's here with us. It's going to be live streaming pretty much all night. But we got time to talk and get to know each other. But welcome to the channel. Man, you turn that one. Man. Oh, get out of there. Go back out with the back girl. Man, I don't know what the fuck they want back. In main menu. In home. In home. TV. Launching. Oh, what that one? You did? I don't know. Oh, live. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I got you. What? In in home. Bro, 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 bro. I'm going to see some skills. Yeah. Man, I'm going to let you try that. Yeah, find what if you want to watch the news or whatever. Hey, DVD. Live, DVD. Button. Income. Channel with. Go back. Channel with RNA. Channel and. Go down again. Channel and. 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 Channel 1961 in he suffered from that people today. We were in New Orleans as the RTA revealed that bus, honoring those legends and commemorating Juneteenth. Shit, Shit Hold on for me. I got to take this call. Y'all be right back. Documenting the fight for desegregation. Happy June 10th day, y'all. Have much love. Happy Saturday. But we'll be right back.
Mm-hmm. No, for real. I got to pay. I must get this. But look, look here. I'm yeah. retired military. I don't yeah. need that health care. Well, I was watching Channel Now News. They said y'all spamming. Spamming old Real. folks and stuff. Talk it, talk it. Well, Real. honey, I ain't 65, so I don't need no Medicare, none of that bullshit. No, uh uh-uh. uh. No, but I know it's a scam. You know, I, that health care. They have it on the news, national news. You know, I see it all the time. How you guys try to, you know, call old folks and scan them out of them fake medical supplies. No, I'm not interested, ma'am. I don't need no hearing aid either. Ma'am, I'm not. Yes, ma'am. You get you get some diapers too. I don't have bladder problems, ma'am. No, ma'am, I'm not collecting social security either. How old am I? Not even 50. Yes, ma'am, my birthday is not July 7, 1932. Real. Yes, ma'am, July 7th was the wrong year. Traffic. No, ma'am, I don't wear the pants. Can you hear me, ma'am? Traffic. I'm sorry, y'all. Hold on. Time, one hour, 'm jump don't buy a biker game what the fuck is there yo but anyway y'all I am so sorry about that I'm sorry y'all you these healthcare people are off the chain yes and it's hot here in North Carolina and I would have my disco lights on y'all but it is too doggone hot a view what a view hi darling how are you on this beautiful blessed Saturday I got two people in the building one thumbs up thank you so much 13 minutes and 59 seconds into the chat. And y'all, it is hot as hell. It is so hot that Stacey, Satan no, don't want a person shit. to come out of Stacey, hell to come shit. here. What? My- Katie, if you don't stop eating my... Y'all, my dog gave me a shoot. I mean, really. Hold on. So every time I go live, things just happen. No, 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 no. Come on, my shoot. Y'all, I think I'm going to go outside. That's the only way I can go live. I'll be right back. I'm going to take my little chair outside. I'm going to get my little glass of wine and get me a cigarette. I'm going to have some fun, okay? And leave all the distractions in here. Get right back. Just give me a second. I'm going to take off. And then we we'll go out to the pool, y'all. Y'all get to see my new pool. Get the pool. Okay. Do this, y'all. It's so hot and humid out there, but at least it's cool and all. And I gotta go to a party tonight, and I'm debating if I want to go. And my cousin, who's been in the Marine for about six years, he's having his party tonight. He turns amazing 59. Oh, well. Oh, Marine drawer here. Hold on, y'all. I'm trying to grab everything at one time. I think we're gonna get there. And I smashed my finger, and I think I broke it, y'all, on the wa- on the uh, washing machine lid. Fell on my ring finger. It hurt so bad. Oh. Oh, God. And I broke it. But, you know, when you break your finger, first joint tip. And Katie, I'm a chair. It's been raining. Um, they, uh, they're not going to bandage it, but I could have got a splint. But I said, hey, I'll pull it as I need to. But, y'all, different environment. And I'm not going to be here for long because my finger 
and me and Katie outside and my new pool. Y'all see it. <laughs> Twelve dollars, family dollar, y'all. It's still enforcing the COVID nineteen rules here in North Carolina. Give away your mask, but Katie, would you please get out of my chair? Y'all, excuse Miss Katie from Dogs Are Us. Can you please exit? This is my set. Lord, she done took over my chair, y'all. What am I gonna do with him? Y'all see that? Get up. No, Katie, move. Thank you very much. Well, and I bought this amazing $5 tier outside. Different environment. See how you can change your set on YouTube. And hey, Miss A View with a View Girl. I've been looking for your ass. I miss you. Yes, I do. It is so amazing cool here in North Carolina, y'all. It was 102 degrees. And my allergies have been off the chain. I can barely breathe. <laughs> no, I don't have COVID 19. I took the shots, but I still have allergies. And even though it's 92 degrees in spring, excuse me, oh, excuse me, summer, that one fish is starting until <coughs> the 23rd. Now, if you would have viewed my girl, you know, I pin your comment. You says, Happy June's, June 10th day to you. Happy June 10th to everybody. Um, if you guys don't know what June 10th is, is it now a holiday that Joe Biden and Donald Trump campaign, Democrats, Republicans gave us today because about Mm, well, four hundred, four or five hundred, four or five hundred years ago, the Emancipation Proclamation was signed that all slaves would be free. So instead of us reverting back to the past, we look at look at the past as slaves. They now gave us a day for us all to be free. Happy June tenth day to you and everyone. I am so honored to be a black sister. I may be Italian and black, but honey, I'm black. Black, say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud by the famous of the famous one of all down here in South Carolina, James Brown. Yes, I am in a place called Chesterfield, South Carolina, not too far from the King of Soul. James Brown was born. Yes, I'm that city and I'm that country. <laughs> born in New York, but became a woman down in the Carolinas. Yeah, but uh, yeah, it's a change of saying. And uh, view says, "Hey, happy June tenth to you. Same thing to you, baby." I am glad they passed this one and made it a holiday. Me too. And I'm sitting there looking for the mail, y'all. We didn't get no mail today. Damn, that was a fast one. Usually, brothers and sisters have to wait for a long time for them to cut the post office off because that's a holiday. Look how long it took for Martin Luther King, you know? But June 10th just came out, and it is now a national holiday. Salute, y'all. Salute. We may not have got to the end of racism, but thank God we got our own day. Black power. Say it loud. I'm black and I'm proud. And always will be. I have no choice. I'm so good. You know, white people, I love y'all. I'm not racist. But you know what? Y'all got the most boring is coloring color of all. You look out of them all the seas, all the white people. They all just white. But if you look at black people, you got black, black, chocolate black, pecan black, white chocolate. You got high yellow chocolate. You got caramel. That's a beautiful Beautiful ray of blackness. And I'm so glad I got that color. I'm not racist or anything, y'all, because all, all lives matter. But I'm glad to be a proud black sister, honey. It wasn't easy. It's not easy. It still ain't easy today. You know what? Y'all think it's easy to be an army. Nope. It's a white man's army. I can't tell you how many times I've been called a nigger. I can't tell you how many times I've been called a B word or, or anything. But, you know, it's not what people call you, what you answer to. And I always say, if you can't call me by my name, you call me Miss Black Ma'am or whatever. I wouldn't get, you know, ramp buses with him, but honey, I made a rank of E9 in a white man's army. I don't care about color because God don't, but when you got to see here and define who you are, I thank God every day for being a black woman. Boy, I'm proud. Yeah, I got white in me too. I mean, nowadays you don't know what's in you, but you just look at the skin. Skin can't lie, you know, and I'm proud of that. Very proud. And yes, guys, I went to the doctor yesterday. And, uh, uh, oh, God, they gave me an asthma pump. And I knew I had allergies, but North Carolina, I found out I'm allergic to pine trees. Can you believe that? Dogwood trees and pine trees. How in the hell did I ever become allergic to pine trees? And I'm from these areas. And he said, the COVID-19 infrastructure has changed everything. I was like, really? He said, you got your COVID-19 shot? I was like, yeah. He said, you will, because there's a Delta variant out right now. And uh, North Carolina has, like, 20% chance of you know, 20%, you said 20% of the Delta 
they can do you know things for the residents in here the population in this area y'all my spanish is better than my english when i'm explaining the COVID 19 because i try to go ahead and tell the truth about the whole matter and um i'm also going through dental um surgery right now i just got a wisdom tooth pulled out yesterday but uh i got on the scale yesterday y'all <laughs> i went to cry i went from 135 pounds so i ain't gonna tell you no lie y'all want to know mm. Damn, 165 pounds. Ooh, Lord. I was wondering where I, I mean, I was getting so big and all and drinking all these beers. Oh, my goodness, y'all. Now, anybody know not to gain all this weight is me. So, honey, ain't no drinking for the next 70, 30, no, next 90 days. I'm going to back to basic training to start Monday. So, I said that I would do something totally different tonight. I won't drink beer. I'll drink tomato juice. I won't um, try to not to smoke cigarettes as much because... If I'm in the house going live, I'm going to pull up a cigarette. But if I come outside, then for some reason, I don't like to smoke. You see, I'm just holding it. So there's a lot of ways you guys can break, you know, all the rules and, you know, anything in life. Because I hear all the time, you know, fat people want to be skinny. Skinny people want to be fat. You know, it is what it is. Do you. By any means, do you. But uh, I'm just out here, and I thank God one person is watching me. And uh, y'all see Katie acting crazy in the background. And I'm going to show y'all my little pool. I didn't buy it for me, but I do get in place. But Katie, it's easier to give her a bath than her running off like she is now. So, you know, are you in OFT to run off? <laughs> but, yeah, today is a beautiful day. So, um, I decided to go live for a little while, and I do have homework. Three people in the building, one thumbs up. A view with a view. I would love for you to be in my mind, but I know that you are very busy. You have over 9,000 family members. I'm, you can't say subscribers, guys. I don't know who came up with that fucking rule, but you can't say, you can't say subscribers in your live chat. And uh, I'm just honored to have you here in my presence. And I have two people in here with one thumbs up. So, guys, thank you so much. Y'all could be anywhere, but you decide to be here in the country with Stacey Lee Little. Yeah, you guys know me. It's Carolina Diamond, NC Diamond, Double Diamond, uh, Stacey Little. By, I don't know how you guys spell some of my names. I'm going to come up with some unique shit. I wish my mom was uh, wouldn't drink it when she had me. She probably spelled my name some of these ways y'all spell. Somebody said S-T-A-Y-Z-E-E. -E. I thought it was so cool. Stay Z. And... I said, I am Stacy, but not, but, but it was cool how they spelled it. It was very cute. And I'll get some of the search, but yeah, guys, I am so glad you're here. Um, somebody sent me an email. Stacy, why you lose so many subscribers? Stacy, why you throw gang signs up? And there was another one. Stacy, why are you just an asshole? Why are you so loud? Because I chose to be, because <laughs> I am that. Why do I throw gang signs up? Because honey, when I'm growing up in New York, you got to be a part of a set. And mine was called the black folk. So once a folk is always a folk, and that's why I throw them up because I can do that. Am I a thug? Hell no. Um, you guys got the wrong rendition or wrong definition of thug. Well, I don't call myself a gangster, thug, misses a boss lady. It's somebody who will not let anyone stop them. Let anyone, I put it like this. You will not let anyone stop you from have, being with your grit, which is growth, resilience, intelligence, tenacity. It's the other words. I ain't taking shit off nobody. You know what I'm saying? Life is too short. And it's just crazy, you know, all these epidemics and stuff going around. I'm not going to get on here and tell you no lie. What? It ain't the subscribers or the, the, you know, statistics. It's about being real. You know what I'm saying? This is reality TV. I'm giving you guys a part of my life. And, uh, you know, when people come here and want to talk shit, you know, I, I let you say what you got to say. But when I feel like you're disrespecting somebody in my chat, then I have to step up and be the master mod. Moderators, you know, sometimes take things out of content. When they think that they own that person's channel. No, you don't. You're just a visitor like everybody else. Because at the end of the day, any content creator can unmod you. And the most embarrassing thing I ever seen on YouTube is when you see somebody was a mod and you go over in the chat, they're not a mod anymore. That lets you know that some shit has already went down between the channel owner and the mod. You know? So, you know, you're going to be something. Be true. You know, be true. We ain't, we ain't got that anymore. You know what I mean? You got a bunch of people getting on YouTube fake as fuck in their fuckery. I get tired of hearing, I can turn the fucking damn TV on if I want to see that. You know what I mean? I mean, I love some of y'all reality, but some of you guys are just taking shit to extremes. Why in the hell would you sit there and talk shit so bad about one person, but you don't even know nothing about them? Some of you guys don't even know your damn selves. You know what I mean? I want to talk about somebody's panel. want to come in and thumbs down. They ain't even seen the video. Man, we ain't got no time to be hater rating on nobody. Hell, I thought last time we I checked 18 and up. If you 16 and below, get the hell on. I'm not trying to be nobody's babysitter, yo. You come up in my chat, act like an adult, more treat you as such. But you act like a little kid, look. We can get butt nasty up in this motherfucker. We want to. It's supposed to be 18 up. So I don't mind cussing out a damn ignorant little child. You know what I mean? You got to come in. When you come in my channel, know that you're an adult. Don't disrespect no one. 
No trolls allowed here. And I am a troll slayer. Please believe me. I'm a good cussing. I cussed your ass out so bad you were wishing you was never born. You don't disrespect nobody in my chat. You feel me? If I give love, give love. How can you sit there and talk shit all day about somebody on YouTube, but you say you love God? God say, I know you not. You know? Treat folks like you want to be treated. Simple as that. If you don't want nobody to cuss you out, then that damn don't cuss me out. In other words, if you don't fuck with me, guess what? I won't fuck with you. How about that? I mean, that's plain as it can get. That's niggerish as I can go. When I say the word nigger, we ain't talking about color because the word nigger in the dictionary says ignorant, ignorant, lack of knowledge, childish mind. And ain't no color on that shit. Stupid, they don't have no color. Y'all know that, honey. And the last thing I need to be around is stupid motherfuckers. I don't need it. Shit, I can sit around and look at my dog with all that. And I love Katie. No, but I ain't got my, my only time in life. I ain't got time for stupid folks. I just ain't got time for it. And the view, she's just laughing, laughing out loud. Girl, I got to come to your chats. I swear I do. I catch a lot of your playlists, your, your, um, I let a lot of your playback. You know, I think you're so cool. You know, I, and I'm gonna tell you, a view with a view, y'all need to check her out. She is awesome, honey. And y'all talking about some cuss. She cuss so good. She, she, you, you would want her to cuss you out. She's, she's just so, so phenomenal with it. I love her. She's my DC girl. You know what I'm saying? If I ever need anything, I know I can always count on her. And she was going to give me nothing but 1,000. You know what I'm saying? 1,000 mean nothing but the straight, hard, brutal truth. And that's why I love people like that. They showed me they got grit, which is growth, resistance, intelligence, and tenacity. Leadership, you know what I'm saying? It's a process influence others to accomplish a mission by direction, motivation, and purpose. Now, if you don't know what those things are, and that, that means you're a follower. But sometimes... You know, to be a true leader, you got to be a good follower, meaning treat folks like you want to be treated. No, why would you go out and hurt somebody, man? Come on, that's just crazy. It's just dumb. Childish. Treat folks like you want to be treated. That is the greatest rule of all, other than love God with all your heart. In other words, <laughs> I'm just showing the love. So let's show it back. And then wrong with it. Besides, you feel better. <laughs> I like to put a smile on people's face by any means, honey, and have somebody mad at me. Besides, you do something about your, about your libido. If you took the time out, you know, I don't give a damn what you're going through in your house. You're going through hell or heaven. Step out of your house for a minute. Go walk down the street and say, hey, how you doing? You know, you might not even got to know the person, but to see that smile, you know, you can be saving somebody's life. You know, there's a lot of people feeling down after the epidemic. You know, they're beginning to get back. We're trying to get back to uh reality from the pandemic we're trying slowly but surely but still you know some people have been cooped up so long they don't went psycho not psychos and going out to kill somebody you know develop things called ptsd you know little kids going to school and mass murders out there in high places like you know california even here in south carolina you know you know we got to show love right now we haven't been through the most oh my god man and i'm gonna say y'all this is a sidebar but i was on tv and somebody said, do you think that the COVID-19 was made up in a lab? Man, if that shit happened, boy, we need to put that motherfucker who did this shit and kill over half a billion, including my dad, in front of the firing squad. I'd be the first motherfucker one to shoot his ass. That is the most, that's, that shit worse than Adolf Hitler, man. Just imagine. Boy, that person would find out somebody made that shit up in the lab. We, There's going to be a lot of people trying to get that person. Please believe me. You won't make it long, brother, sister, whoever done that, if you done it. You know, because I can't see... After millions of years of eating fish, we get COVID-19. That shit just don't make sense to me. I mean, really, you know? I ain't got to be in the army to have common sense. You know, I really don't watch that much TV. <laughs> I'm retired from the military. <laughs> and, yeah, I live in a trailer. I love living in a trailer. I, I got a house in Woodbridge, and I own a couple properties after my father deceased. And now um, my uncle just passed away. So I have to go to another funeral. Then my friend Sophia Willoughby passed away. I mean, it's just, you know, death because of COVID-19. You know, it is what it is. And some folks are not dying with COVID-19. They're dying because they have things like an aneurysm, have heart attacks and stuff like that. Katie, if you don't leave my dog on 4th of July, they're correct alone. I'm going to tell your tail up. No, she didn't. Did. Yes, she done pulled my flag down, y'all. Not a real flag, just some little $2 uh, dollar trees. I guess she didn't like it. So I ain't going to really get on about that. It only cost $2. But anyway, um, yeah, today is a wonderful Saturday. It was hot as crap today, and now it's cooling off. And I went out there to the dollar store, and I uh, went to Family Dollar. He had this cute little pool. You know, a lot of pools come from Family You got to pump them up. But this one, I just pop it out, outward, and it's, 
what is it called? I don't know. It's got a little dinosaur cartoon on it. And I went to Family Dollar. I think it costs about $12. Yeah, mosquitoes are bad. I got to get some of those doggone lights that zap them bastards. Mosquitoes tell you up out here in the country. But long story short, I got that pool and paid $12 for it. And I either I can let my grandson play in it, which he won't, because we got a pool, in uh, outdoor pool above ground in Virginia. But I bought it for Katie. But the one I bought for Katie, she put a fucking hole in it. <laughs> I don't know. I wasn't thinking because you know I never you know thought about buying a pool for a dog because you know dogs you spray them with a water hose and they're they're happy. But I bought one. One costs fifteen. One costs uh, twenty. The one that you pump up costs twenty, but the one that you can just pop out and put water in and it has the uh, the pet proof uh, seal at the bottom and you got a cap to throw on top of it. Only costs fifteen. So I did that and I I think it's a yeah and I and I filled it up with water. Took about 30 minutes and I put, okay and I, then I put the, the uh, chlorine chlorine tablets in there and also uh a tea, I think it was two caps of Clorox started in real good you know keeps the bugs out not bees in but they'll jump out and it purified the water and uh I got in to play with the dog and we had a wonderful time today that 95 degree heat seemed like it was like a 70 degree heat you know I mean it was bearable and it's also an inefficient way that if you are still you know somewhat in power I mean good lord some were still fearful to go out because of COVID-19. It's a good way to stay cool and you keep that energy bill down. Because, honey, I'm going to tell you, my light bill was $500. I said, Lord have mercy. That's my stiletto money, Jesus. So I had to look at the budget and had to get Donald Trump with it. So I found a lot of ways to save money and enjoy the pandemic while we slow to recovering. Yeah, I did take my uh, two COVID-19 shots. I hear a lot of you guys out there saying I'm not going to take the COVID-19. Let me tell you something, guys. Let's not be silly here. Now, here we are. We got the vaccination. Same thing as the Tuskegee. Yeah, I remember. This. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. I got to leave out of here. The same thing as the mosquitoes are bad. The same thing that Tuskegee Airmen um, thing when they, they was trying to figure out does uh, syphilis, can it be cured by penicillin? A lot of people were scared, but they found out that it helped them. If God give you something to help you stop you from dying, take it i don't understand that and then you got this new delta variant out saying it's more deadly than the covid night the uh, original covid 19 and the only effective thing can stop it and stop young people young kids where people in the age of i think it was 18 to 49 is the uh for the, the, the the shot why don't you guys take it i want to see you guys around for a long time my mother you know she finally decided to take it yeah she did and uh she said, I, I wouldn't be around with my grandkids for a long time. So she finally took it. She took her first one about 14 more days. She's going to go take her second one. Oh, yeah, I am hot, 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 sweating. I was cool. It's just so humid here. And the mosquitoes, they are relentless. So I'm going to stay on here about a few more minutes, guys. And I'm going to take it in the house. And I may come back on later because my cousin's having a little party get together. And I want to go get dressed up. And I might pop back on afterwards because. I got to write a paper, and then the rest of the weekend is mine. So I'll be pretty much off and on on live, you know. I want to check out a couple channels. So, yeah, I am so sorry for scratching, but these mosquitoes are bad as hell. I got to get some off or something. I want to go by Walmart and see if they got those little candles that you can put in your yard to kill these bad boys. Oh, yeah, I got to go and live with y'all so much. I don't want to be scratching one of my booze for a lot. I'd be so freaking embarrassed. But anyway, y'all, it's been real. I love you so much. Of you, Thank you for coming by. I love you, honey. No, she just take this in the house. You think, yeah, yeah, it is. Y'all stay on with me. I'm going in the house. You must keep tearing me up. Just gonna grab something, I'm close this, and open back up. I'll be right back. Lord have mercy. Ooh. Katie, good. Him. Did I tell you about messing my dead rest? I'm gonna get you. You give me my. Sh you don't even take it, girl. I got some more. Keep it. I ain't for two dollars. Lord have mercy. I realize I ain't putting nothing out here lights and a real flag. <sighs> Open the door, Ronnie. Open it. Can we watch something other than wrestling? I mean, really? Try to watch that shit. I don't give it that movie or something. So what? I'm in the house now. Yeah, you watch this one.
I'm going to my bedroom. Yes, stay back here, y'all. I can tell you the way I want to back here. Yes, yes, yes. I'm back, y'all. Can y'all see me? I'm back. Yo, ooh, the mosquito tam, yo. Oh, now. No mosquitoes. <laughs> no TV on. Acts like a kid turn the TV on. So what I'm thinking about. Oh, you still here view uh uh view? Are you going live tonight, honey? Woo! I gotta get rid of this part of the mosquitoes just told me off. So y'all know I'm gonna just take me on high a nice uh cow gun bath. Oh shoot. Them mosquitoes are bad, y'all. Clearly they are. I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna wear for this part. I'm gonna stay on for a little while longer. Y'all know I can talk. I can talk. Yeah, my talk my butt off. But anyway, bye and be safe. Thank you of you. I love you so much. If you're still here, great. If not, then uh, I'm gonna go ahead and get off. If nobody has anything to say, so I'm gonna stay on about two more minutes and nobody talking about anything. I'm gonna just go ahead and get ready for this party. And I won't be there long. Trust and believe me. I mean, they're drinking and all that and. Yo, I could do that at home, you know, and talk to you guys at the same time. I love my family, don't get me wrong, but they can get a little crazy. They drink too much liquor, you know how that goes. <laughs> Shoot. My cousin Bootsy had a birthday party. He sat the whole damn house on fire. He got crazy when he was drinking that Everclear and knocked it over. He sat his whole damn house on fire. It was crazy. Well, he had he got insurance, so he got a new trailer now. <laughs> so. That's why my party, my, my, my family party, they get crazy. They love to drink, honey. And drink you under the table. I probably drink two beers and feel about right. Shit, they, they boy, you having a party tonight, dude. <laughs> my boost, my cousin Boosie, he's half white and Puerto Rican, so. Yeah, but it's all good. Like, they like <laughs> party every day. Matter of fact, they play spades every day. Get drunk, drink a Hennessy, Cavassier. I can't drink look like that. Clearly, I can't. Lord have mercy, no. But uh, hope you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. I got on here just for a little while to, you know, just tell you guys what are my future uh, plans for this channel is going to be. And I plan on coming live, I don't know, probably about two or three times a week and upload, at least up upload a video every week. I'm trying to get on this algorithm of YouTube. You know, to be consistent at the same time, but you know, when you're in school and uh, you know, you're just trying to better, you know, just getting that education on and just being proud of who you are, trying to be a good example for people that you love who look up to you, you just keep doing it. You know, I'd rather be in the workforce right now, yes, I do. That's part of me that wants to go, but I'm trying to work on a dual degree right now, and uh, I ain't got but two more years of done, and I'll be done, and then you know, and then I'll probably go to the workforce, and I'll have to be an entrepreneur, start my own business, and something. If it's computers or whatever my other degree is, you know, as you get to know me, you'll hear me talk about school. I might even ask you to help me do my trigonometry or something like that, you know, guys. So, hey, yeah. And I, don't, I, and I always believe if you have knowledge, pass it on, you know, pass it on. So if there's anything I can do for you guys, please let me know. And I know, y'all, from yesterday all the way back from when I started this channel, there's a lot of people who don't like me because I'm so damn brutally honest. I'm just me. I can't change that. But if you treat me like an adult and don't try to, how can I say, <laughs> a view on the ceiling, I can't. She is such a great cousin. Try to dick me over, then we'd be cool. Well, oh, that's the wrong word. I shouldn't say that. Try to screw me over, then we'll be cool. I mean, man, I don't have no time. I have zero time for people trying to backstab. We don't need none of that, you know? And, you know, I, I don't, first of all, I'm not tolerating none of that, none of that. You don't need to call me the N-word, because if you do, I'm going to react in the worst way, you know. That's it. Let's keep it 100. We ain't got time for a hater or fucker. Well, y'all, I've been on here 41 minutes and 24 seconds. I may be back on later. If not, then I'll be low crawling around in the uh, YouTube uh, underground. Trying to check out some channels like a view of the view, AP, you know, abandoned boys, you know, same old, same old, and especially definitely to all all my people I love being subscribed to because I did promise you guys 
by December, I would be visiting your channel at least twice. And I think I got about, about 2,000 people who subscribe to or somebody that know me and I know them, which is a lot of people. So, guys, it's been 100. I thank you so much, very so much from the bottom of my soul. I love you to here to uh, Saturn and back. And I hope that you guys are having a wonderful Saturday. Um, if I'm not back on tonight, then you will see me tomorrow morning cooking breakfast. And that's something I plan on doing on a daily basis as you guys walk with me and be on this diet quest means around 6th of July because I got to drop some chunk in the trunk. I'll be twerking. We're going to be doing a lot of great things. So if you like this thing, you know, give me a like, subscribe, share me out. If there's anything I could do, like play your playlist, you know, two, I mean, there's small YouTubers coming together. What a mighty fist, baby. We awesome. You know, my 600 with your 600 can probably help somebody. Who's got 999? You feel me? That's what kind of love I like to have. You know what I'm saying? So all I'm gonna say, guys, is have a wonderful Saturday. Much love. Salute. Peace. Love you, view with a view.